In the heart of modern political discourse lies a powerful trio, loyalty, identity, and community sentiment. The reaction from the south side of Chicago is not just a ripple, it's a wave of frustration and a cry for change. These residents, long anchored in the Democratic camp, are now questioning the promises made, feeling the weight of economic and social hardships that seem to go unheard. Their desire for genuine, impactful leadership is palpable. They're searching for someone who truly sees them, someone who can deliver more than just words, a leader who breathes life into the hope for tangible, lasting change. I go for Trump. I go for Trump. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump, too. Why, and why is that, man? He's the best president ever. Has Barack Obama done anything for around the year? And oh, these he never did anything since he's been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump, the best. Barack Obama? I ain't got no message to him. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. No, nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. And Barack Obama ain't black. Just to let that be known. <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? I don't fuck with her either. All Trump. Trump all day. What's your message to Donald Trump today? Keep going. Keep going. Come get us, man. We waiting on you. I'm a Trump supporter, man. We gonna keep this going. Trump, he a real businessman. I'm a real Republican, man. I want Trump back in office for second term. What would be your message to Barack Obama? Oh, pump some money in here. Pump, pump some money like Trump, you know? <laughs> your message to Donald Trump? Come on, man. Get us to the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Make America great, man. That's all I can say. Make yeah. America great. Man. Everyone's so friendly around here. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's Actually, so friendly around here. I, I need diversity. I'm going to get you. You're supposed to be somewhere chill. <laughs> I need a chain you game you like this. Here we go. Here we go. Who we need up in there? Who we finna let drop a bag in the hood? Who we want to get the bag hey, back going in the hood? Y'all hey, know we going to need Trump in that joint. Y'all know we going to need Trump in that joint. Y'all got a deep what's going on, man. I'm yeah, I'm taking over Benny's show, man. It's Odie, man. I'm a YouTuber, man. Y'all get at me, man. But everything Trump over on this side of town, I ain't gonna lie to you. You can go hell well. You see how dry this motherfucker is? We need Trump, boy. Whatever it's gonna do to make this flow back, man, get it up. Uh, uh, let's get it going immediately, man. Benny, what, who you going for, Benny? My president <laughs> is making America great again, Donald okay, Trump. I'm going yeah. Trump too. We locked right. in. That's what I'm talking about, man. Right on. Right on. I need the job with you, man. I love Chicago. <laughs> it's my long lost twin, man. <laughs> Separated at first, man. Better tattoos, better style, <laughs> better hair. We both good looking, man. though, man. That's all that counts, man. Better Ball. teeth <laughs> and a better ride. <laughs> all right. The winds of political loyalty are shifting in southern Chicago, a region once solidly democratic. The growing support for Donald Trump and the disillusionment with Barack Obama and Kamala Harris are more than just political statements. They are a resounding declaration of dissatisfaction. The recent public sentiment reveals a deep-seated belief that the Democratic administration has fallen short, especially for the working class and minority communities. This pivot towards Trump is not just a plea for change, but a yearning for stability, a longing for leadership that resonates with strength and effectiveness, a leadership that these communities feel has been missing for too long.